I hope you're enjoying all these beautiful little faces up here because I sure am. They're so precious. You know, Jesus loved the children so much when he was here. I always thought that uh, the parents brought the, the children to Jesus because they wanted, you know, to let him, uh, to let them be near him because they would be blessed. And it was more than that, though. The parents wanted to bring their children to Jesus because they wanted him to lay his hands on them. He might have wanted to put his hands on their head. I don't know if you can see this because of the piano, but this is such a sweet girl. Or on their back or their shoulder. But he just wanted to touch them and pray for them. That is what they wanted. They wanted a blessing on their children, and they wanted Jesus to pray for them. I wish I had a camera right now. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. I'll get out of the way so you can see that picture. Wow. Well, Jesus did bless them. Um, but at first, the disciples didn't want him to because they kind of didn't feel like children were that important. And especially with they knew that he was the son of God. and They were following him as his disciples. But so they wanted to kind of tell the parents, you know, rebuke is kind of a strong word, but, you know, get these children out of the way. That's not how Jesus felt at all. Not at all. And so the Bible says in Matthew 19, chapter 13, that is what they wanted. And, and uh, the disciples saying, you know, go away. In verse 14, Jesus said, suffer them, not make them hurt or suffer. Um, let them come. Let them come. They just want to be near me. You know, uh, we can improvise on the words that we think Jesus might have said. Um, but, you know, you can't improve on the Bible. But he just wanted to be near them. And he said, you know, suffer the little children to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. And so I know what it was like when I was a little child. And there were times when I was sad or I needed a friend or something. So I brought some little stuffed animals here. And I'm just going to kind of toss a few. If you think you're too old for a little stuffed animal, uh, you're not. Because... I remember my stuffed animals from when I was a little girl, and I kept them clear into college. And then I let my son play with them. Okay, so there's a little penguin, and there's a little Winnie the Pooh, and there's, oh, there's a cute little, what is that, a donkey or something? I don't know. <laughs> and there's some little bears. Some of these are from, say, Faith on Fire from an Oshkosh trip that the uh, Pathfinders took. There's all kinds of little ones. I'm just going to toss a bunch of them over here because it's a little hard to get to everybody. And you can, um, I don't have enough for you to have more than one. So just pick one that appeals to you and it might make you happy. Would you like a little bear? Okay, there's a little blue bear. I've got two more. Is there enough for two more? <gasps> right there. And right there, there we go. Enjoy hugging them and make them feel special like you do when someone you love hugs you. You can go back to your seats now. Mm -hmm. 